Let's take you to this live story now. The SA Agalas Open Day and Demonstration Cruise is currently underway. This event highlights South Africa's leadership in marine science, conservation and polar research. Now, it's a rare chance for visitors to step aboard the country's top research and supply ship. Now, they gain first-hand insight into the role of its Antarctic exploration. Now, reporter Siti Mamfe goes on board and he will experience the vessel up close and personal. I talk to scientists as well as crew members and learn about the ship's groundbreaking research. Uh, we take you live now to the port of East London in the Eastern Cape where Sidi Mamfeku is on standby to chat to us now. So Sidi Ma, this is clearly a once in a lifetime opportunity. Talk to us about what's happening where you are now. Well, we are indeed um, on board SA Agalas 2, um, a vessel that is very vastly equipped with cutting edge technology, especially when it comes to research, um, you know, when you're looking at climate and biodiversity. Um, this is one of the well equipped um, vessels in South Africa that plays a very pivotal role in teaching and educating the people about what goes into research, especially in the marine world. But now to speak to us further about what is expected to happen here today, we're joined by the director of Marine environment research uh, mr ashley johnson so thank you very much for your time a very good morning to you and what can we expect here what is happening here today uh, good morning to you and to the viewers uh, today it's essentially an open day to the public um, to showcase what this vessel is capable of what we do on this ship in terms of our research in terms of our logistics and being the only african country that have such a vessel and also a presence in the antarctic and in the southern oceans i I think the, uh, the vessel essentially carries the flag of South Africa and Africa as a whole, as a continent. Um, and the vessel essentially trying to get people to understand the investment that the country has made in this kinds of research to unlock exactly what role the ocean play within a climate change context. And then also how this ocean that surrounds us affects us as a country, as a nation, and as a people. Yeah, and I understand that this is something you do um, yearly, um, or rather every other year, and across the country. How has the reception been so far since you've been doing this um, every other year? I think it, it, it has become almost an annual thing. Um, the public interest is incredible. You will have today, I think we had to stop it at 3,000 people that wanted to come and see the vessel. Yesterday, we had a large number of schools. Um, the Deputy Minister, Deputy Minister Singh was here to talk to the kids and inspire them to see whether we have future marine scientists, marine engineers, marine lawyers, and anyone that has an interest in the marine environment um, and, and just inspire them to, to become that next generation. And obviously you have um, a particular message that you'd want to drive or rather send across to the public and every other stakeholder that you've invited here. What is the, that particular message? What is the message you're sending to the people about the marine world, um, climate change, biodiversity and all of this? I think there are two or three important messages that we're trying to get across. The first one is that don't exclude the ocean when you talk about climate change and climate change adaptation. Um, we've discovered that the ocean actually is a major driver of a lot of these processes because there's a very careful interplay between the atmosphere and the ocean. So don't even think about not including the ocean when more than 72% of the planet is ocean. How can it not play a role? The second key role is that the ocean space that surrounds us there is a vast economic potential, but we want to do it in a sustainable way, not at the cost of the environment. So the role that we're trying to play there in terms of the science is to say, before you use sustainably, let us first find out what exactly they are. And the third thing that we would like to get across to the public is to say that this is yours. You own, every individual in the country owns a piece of the ship. And so the work we do is for you. Yeah. Um, and hopefully that inspires the next generation. Yeah, and also maybe the question of where one can study um, or rather can pursue marine studies has been one that has been pertinent in the country for quite a very long time. Where people are wondering, it's not even in primary schools. It's no long. It's not even um, a study subject or in the curricula. Um, what are you, what are your thoughts about that? Well, actually, marine science has been introduced as a curriculum subject in high schools for the last number of years, because they saw that that there was a gap. 
Um, and if you want people to have an interest in marine science, you, have, you might have to start at schools teaching them about the importance of the ocean and marine science as a whole. So we've tried to close that gap as a country with the Department of Basic Education. Then obviously the universities have many programs in various aspects of marine science. But I think the one thing that people do not understand is that it's not just marine science that this country needs. It's marine engineering. Um, there's pharmaceuticals, that kinds of potential. So we have to look beyond the traditional careers of marine science and wanting to swim with dolphins and whales. No matter how nice that is, there's a whole host of other careers that you can also get interested in, work towards the conservation of the space, but being an active member in a field that is wide open to so many people. And lastly, what is in this vessel? What is it about this vessel that you're going to be showing these people here today? Well, essentially, we're trying to show them that this was the first of its kind built in the world. So it's the blueprint for every other vessel of this kind. So that's the first thing that we want to show them. We show them the technologies on board. We show them the instrumentation. We show them that South Africa doesn't have to stand back for any other country when it comes to marine science. We have the expertise, we have the equipment. It's a vast ocean, we can't do it on our own, and we call on our, on our other country fellow members to, to do their part. Um, also to understand that the ocean surrounding us, particularly around the Antarctic, is one of the least studied oceans. So that's our primary interest, to show the people of this country that we're doing the work for us, so that we better adapt, we better mitigate, and we better protect our country. Yeah. Um, so we hope that um, with the coming years, you'll be able to be, have one of the ships stationed um, in each and every city that has a port so that people can go there um, consistently. Is that in your future plans? Well, I think, you know, most countries would have one of these to do work in the Southern Ocean and the Antarctic. The plan for us is to try and, after each major cruise we have, to go to a different port. We, um, the plan is hopefully in May to be in Durban. So we're trying at least once or twice a year to go to a different port, introduce different people to the capabilities of the ship. Right. Mr. Ashley Johnson, thank you very much for your time. Um, that is the director of Marine Research um, here at, in, actually, he's here at, in the um, SA Agalas 2 vessel, um, one that is very equipped with cutting edge technology. We're seeing a lot of um, people from the general, general public that are coming in here um, as they are being shown around some parts of this port. Um, in fact, a part of this vessel. It is a very complicated one oh, that I can definitely tell you, even me, myself, I was wondering, what are some of these things that are inside here? Very intriguing one um, it is, and we're definitely going to be looking throughout the day to see what is going to be happening here. We do understand that um, learners were here earlier on yesterday, and today we're expecting a lot of educators, scientists, you know, government officials, and other stakeholders that are going to, are going to be part of this exhibition here. All right, that's Sidi Mamfek watching that story for us. Thanks very much indeed uh, for that update.